collection of Beetles. Not the biggest in the UK, but a very important collection of these insects. They are Victorian and they were collected by a local man called Mr. A.C. Bowdler and he gave them to us a hundred years ago this year. Arthur Bowdler was a local manufacturing chemist. We don't know what he made, but he had a local factory and he was one of the benefactors of the museum. And we've got letters from him dating from the 1880s about where to position our suit of armour, long since gone, I'm afraid. He, along with many people in the Victorian period, collected beetles. Collecting animals like this and stuffing them, uh, if they were larger, was a very, very popular Victorian hobby. And beetles were especially popular because they are the most common kind of species on the planet at over 300,000 different types. You would be collecting for several lifetimes before you've got a collection of all of them. And Arthur's collection contains about two and a half thousand species. As to preservation, uh, you pop them in from a, a killing jar, almost certainly containing formaldehyde, which is very, very poisonous, kills the animal very, very quickly. The larger ones, apparently, you can pull the guts out because you don't want the things to decay, do you? Uh, but the bulk of them, they're just dry, you just dry them out and they become essentially beetle pasta. Collecting things like this becomes very, very popular in Victorian times and it becomes popular with all branches of society who've got a bit of money. Because collecting stuff like this, you've got to display it, you've got to acquire it, it's expensive. So this is your wealthy middle classes and upwards. You would have to pay for the specimens um, and then you would catalogue them and we've got Mr. Bowdler's original catalogues and you would collect them and you would display them. They, they love wildlife, but they've not got David Attenborough. You can't just sit down in front of a telly and watch it because it's not been invented. So what you go out is you go out and slay some piece of wildlife and then you display it for folk to come and ooh and ah at. Victorians like to collect. I mean, it's, it's, the, it's the male brain. This is collecting top trumps. It's my beetle's better than your beetle. I've got a cooler beetle than you have. All that kind of stuff, you see it in men's orientated clubs today, collecting stamps or whatever. It is the invertebrate equivalent of stamp collecting. 